What's up guys, Hector here, and as you can see I have a number of anime figures here on display and I wanted to make a video and actually talk about anime figures in general because I know a lot of people will look at this and automatically want to make fun of me or say that it's creepy or you know there's a lot of things that people have said and I think those statements are really unfair and they have kind of a double standard and there's a number of people that collect anime figures and some people automatically think that they're toys or for kids or for creepy adults that want to check out, you know, girls and s stuff like that. Well, first off, I want to say these aren't technically toys. Well, I, I wouldn't say that they're toys at all. They're mo mostly for display. They're not even made out of a cheap plastic. Well, I guess you can kind of say they're cheap plastic. It's PVC, so it's not really, really cheap plastic like most toys are made out of. And... If you compare them to toys, you can see that these, the, the craftsmanship in these are, it's really, really good, to put it lightly, I guess you can say. They're sculpted really intricately, and the painting is nearly perfect. And that's actually a way most people can tell knockoffs between genuine articles. The real genuine stuff, the painting is perfect, pretty much, between each little piece of plastic from one side to the other and then when you see a bootleg you can see the paints kind of sprayed over and if you compare it to toys that children play with you know children's toys are really cheap they can break apart and they just at least in the United States they just are kind of thrown together but with these these usually come with smaller parts and interchangeable parts and as I said they're usually made for display kind of like mini statues or something like that and um, people really take pride in some of these figures, the people who sculpt them. As you can see on some of these boxes, it actually says the person or the company or whatever that sculpts some of these. And so they proudly display it on the front of the box. And even if you did want to use this as a toy, most people wouldn't because a lot of these are really, really expensive like, I think the cheapest anime figure that I got was around 20 bucks, and sure, that's not that much money, but if you want to buy a toy for a kid, you wouldn't spend $20 unless it actually does something. If it just sits there, $20 isn't worth it. And a lot of these can get really, really expensive. The most expensive one I personally purchased was around $100, usually because they're either um, sculpted by somebody very important or popular or because the figure itself is from some kind of popular franchise. Like I got, I got a Hatsune Miku figure right here, and those can get pretty expensive. And then I have over here from the um, Bible Black franchise, and that franchise is about 15 years old now, I think. And they've made video games and anime for adults. So if you're not an adult, do not look it up. And they stopped making them because they usually only make a limited quality quantity and then that's pretty much it and so some people collect them and after a while they try and resell them and I've seen some Bible back Bible black figures go for around five hundred dollars a piece so collectors are definitely a type of people that buy these and sometimes well a lot of times collectors will keep them in the box like as you can see right here and they'll just display them like that and most of the boxes actually have a number of windows so you can see the figure from different angles and the light can go in from different angles and you don't have to unbox it to really enjoy it and then of course items pretty much any item that is still in the box is worth more than one that has been unboxed and of course there are some people that aren't collectors and will like to buy these figures just to check them out and stuff like that but that's probably a smaller minority that just wants to like ogle at the person because a majority of these figures are girls or female but there are some that are male I don't know the exact percentages or ratios or whatever but there are some pretty cool male figures out there that I would even like to buy but as I said some of those can get pretty expensive and then there's a third category of people that just like to buy them because they like the anime and they want to display it sort of like a person that wants to buy a poster you know, you might like a TV show or a band or something, so you buy it. And you, maybe not just because you like the anime, but because you like the character design itself. Like um, this anime, there was just one episode that had this character design in it. 
and I thought it was a pretty cool character design, so I wanted to get it. And honestly, I just wanted to get this one, but since it came as kind of a set, and I'm sort of the collector type, I bought both of them, and who knows, maybe I can resell one of them somewhere down the road and make a lot more money off of it than I paid for. We'll see what happens. And so, of course, it's not just anime that they make figures for. Sometimes it's video games, sometimes it's manga, just a bunch of different Japanese media. And if you really compare this to most people, to let's say somebody who's a sports fan. A lot of sports fans get, you know, various items with their team's logo on it or the team's colors and they put it all over the, their room or maybe put it on their car or maybe buy t-shirts and hats and stuff like that and that's generally considered normal so if you see a person that likes a sports team and they have a hat a shirt their rooms decorated in it and their car has all that stuff that's totally fine but if you see a person that likes an anime or a video game and if they have a shirt of that video game and maybe a hat and figures and posters or something that's automatically weird I think that's kind of a double standard if you ask me and it's really not fair so I just wanted to really talk about this and show that it's really it, it really isn't that weird when you think about it so I don't think some people out there should really rush to judgment and those who do have figures they shouldn't really be ashamed to display them on their mantles or whatever and, you know, there's some fancy people out there that buy, you know, high-priced statues or busts of people throughout history or something and then display that. And that's automatically okay, but you can't have something from your favorite TV show or video game. Again, I don't think that's fair. So that's pretty much all I want to talk about, about the figures, you know, the people that actually buy them and how I think you shouldn't really rush to judgments. And if you, as I said, if you own these figures, you know, display them proudly and leave a comment if you do own one. Tell me if you own a figure, maybe what kind of figure you have. And if you don't, leave a comment and tell me if you would like to buy a figure or maybe why you wouldn't buy a figure. You know, let's have a conversation about it. And like always, like this video if you liked it or appreciated me talking about it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Japanese related product reviews or items and stuff like that. I actually unboxed a couple of, of these and I did some reviews and I will be putting those reviews up in the near future. So if you want to see more detailed specs for some of these unboxed figures, definitely subscribe to that channel and you'll see videos like that in the future.